All right, H fact people, Let's do a real quick video. So what I got going on today, haven't been making too many videos because I've been super, super busy. But I got a little small rooftop unit to troubleshoot. I got two outside air units to troubleshoot. Uh, these are newer units. Uh, I don't have much experience with them, but I am, this is one here and I got one open up. The one I got open up, needs one compressor that needs to be replaced um like i said i haven't had too much experience with these units they kcc units but i'm flying out to kentucky in a, uh in the next couple months to do a training on them so i can be more familiar with them uh like i said i don't have much experience but before i go through the go uh to the class i want to kind of put my hands on the unit and kind of see uh, what to expect. So I did it. Uh, request that I come out and put my hands on, on the units. Uh, so I'm kind of hooked up to them now. I actually just got here, so I just hooked up to the TU. You probably can't see that very well. It's these outside air handling unit. eight active alarms but well, they wanted me to come out and check the, the humidity uh, something going on with the humidity sensor RTU one and two and number four are not functioning properly. Outside air has a compressor that needs to be replaced. We need to confirm the space humidity points are in service in the KCC program. So that's what I'm here to do. Like I said, I've never done it before, but I'm sure, uh, I mean, I got all day to find out in our call tech support. So on these two units, I need to find the uh, confirm that the space humidity points are in service. Uh, so I hooked up to the tracer, and like I said, all the alarms say emergency stop. Like I said, I think this the one that needs the compressor, but I have to confirm that it's either this one or that one over there. And I've been here about 30 minutes, and that one hasn't turned on at all. So I'm gonna hook up to that one and see what kind of alarm that one has. But I think I need to, uh, to find out the humidity. Uh, just go to the binary, the binary uh, points. Oh, you can see that. But I got the uh, instruction manual. So I'm gonna read through it, like I say, just for me, for me, rise myself with the unit. So I got the model number right here. And these is all the digits, so I got everything circled. So I can just do my homework on here. Uh, I'll say, show you the model number. GD 360E4 D0B400BC and so on and so on. So I just circled all the numbers. So the first two digits is 08, that's outside air. Third digit is a G, that's 1250 CFM to 750 uh, CFM. Major design sequence D revision. Uh, so 30 ton, 360, 30 ton high efficiency. I got the E vertical discharge, no return. 
the Vulgates is the four, uh, ninth digit, number four, so 460. The evaporated type, row, uh, DX six row interlace. Digit 13, that's important, it's a digital scroll. First circuit only. Condenser, air cool, fin, and tube. No RCC valve. Indoor fan, 3KW. You got electric heat, modulating. So on and so on. So, like I said, I'm hooked up to the UC600. So I'm gonna go through the schematic and uh, the, the binary outputs and find out what's the set point of the uh, humidity sensor. The blower motor in here. See, they coated all the capillary tubes. Like I said, these are newer, newer units. At least I haven't worked on them anyway. But uh, like I say, I'm gonna take a class on them. I'm gonna read up on them on my own time and try to familiarize myself so I can kind of try to perfect it. Uh, if anybody need outside uh, air handler KCC, that's a Kentucky unit. I think Train bought them out. Uh, they combine with train or something like that. Uh, so, so they're really a KCC unit. Uh, and train put his colors and stickers on them. So, like I said, I want to be one of the go-to guys when it comes to troubleshooting the unit. So, I'm going to do my due diligence and do my work on my own time and fly out to Kentucky and to get some in-house training on the units and uh, we'll go from there like i said i got that small package unit to uh go troubleshoot but i'm gonna do these two uh outside our, our handling units a uh, rooftop unit next uh, i see this one this one hasn't came on since i've been here either I could try to go ahead and get them up and go on and leave troubleshooting. But, uh, that's what we got. All right, H back, people.